Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the new H-King P51 Mustang Moonbeam Swine version 2. This version 2 comes with a gyro built in, which is really cool. And it has a lot of other cool features we'll get into here shortly. But in this video, we're going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at all the parts and pieces. And then at the end, we're going to wrap things up with our pros and cons. Coming up next, we're going to see what's going on inside the box. All right, guys, here is what it looks like outside of the box. I was going to take off the plastic, but I wanted to show that Hobby King does a great job keeping everything poly bagged which protects the finish, which is very important. And this thing looks really cool. I was looking at it up close and personal when I was taking this out of the box. And I have to say, I'm really going to like taking everything out of the poly bags. And that is coming up next. All right, guys. Here's a look at all the parts and pieces. Out of the plastic, of course. Looking good. This thing is small, so it's kind of cool to see it scaled down, but it's also pretty darn detailed for what it is, especially at the price point it is. And check the link in the description, guys. This thing is a killer price for a killer looking plane. And I want to see this thing all put together, so I'm just going to put it together, guys. And what you see next is the plane fully assembled. All right, guys, this is what this thing looks like all put together. And I have to say, it looks really nice, guys. I love how this looks. The assembly process was really easy. I take a little longer than most people to put stuff together, and this was very quick and snappy. Even the install for the receiver and the gyro that's built into this thing was very straightforward. In fact, coming up next, I'm going to show you inside the battery bay. Okay, guys, here's a look inside the battery bay. Right here is our receiver, and it is mounted on the gyro system. And coming out of the gyro system are these well-labeled leads, and then you place them where they need to go. One thing that you guys may want to know if you're watching this video, this F mode, this is the gyro system and it goes into your fifth channel which is your gear channel for most radios most setups so there you go guys other than that this runs on a 3s pack or a 2s pack but i'm going to run it it's a mustang so i'm going to run it on 3s packs guys coming up next we're going to do a control surfaces test here we've got the ailerons moving guys Elevator, of course, and here's the rudder. And the, the throw on the tail wheel, guys, is, it's amazing. I just took this out to my porch and was doing donuts, basically. I dampened down the throw a little bit on the, the rudder, which you know, obviously corresponds with the tail wheel. And there's still quite a bit, guys, so over time, I will be updating my settings. I usually put my radio settings in the description of the video, so guys, be aware of that. Pay attention to that. It will be helpful because I usually start at a certain rate and then I'll refine it over time, over a few flights, and, and update that on the description of my videos to make sure everyone has success or the best opportunity for success. Coming up next, we are going to hear and watch this prop spin. Now we're gonna spool this thing up and listen to this 3S brushless motor rip. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that one again. We'll, we'll sustain, we'll hold that uh, about 50% throttle position for a little bit longer. Oh yeah. That was tugging, sounding great, feeling great. And this is the battery that I'm using right there. Check the link in the description for it. And coming up next, we're gonna do our pros and cons. 
Before we head into the pros and cons, I want to give you a basic overview of what the gyro does to help you out. Right now we've got it set in beginner mode, so I'm going to show you with the tilting of the wing. Watch the aileron, so when I go down like that, it pushes down, which makes it correct. Now when you go this way, you'll notice that it pushes up. So that's basically a self-leveling mechanism, which is cool. The elevator does the exact same thing. And let's see if I can capture that on video. It's kind of hard in this close proximity, but I'm going to give it my best. So watch right there. So when I push down, it goes up. And I go up, it goes down. So basically what it's doing is compensating for whatever this plane is doing and it tries to help correct it and smooth it out. So if I'm going down, it's going to want to give it elevator to level the nose. And if it's uh, going the other way, it's going to want to do the opposite. So you can see that it's pushing down. All right, guys, coming up next, we're going to do our pros and cons. All right, guys, we're going to do our pros and cons for this beautiful little P51 Mustang. The biggest pro, we'll start with uh, the gyro that we just talked about a minute or so ago. That's a huge pro. You've got the beginner or expert settings. So this plane can be flown by a wide audience. I still don't recommend it for a brand new beginner. You have to have some flight experience even with the gyro, but it certainly helps bridge that gap in a significant way. So that is awesome. Huge pro, huge pro right there. Uh, the assembly is very quick and easy. That is another big pro for me. It is mostly screws. The only, there's two things that aren't screw uh, related. This right here, this is glued in there, or you have the option to glue that in there. I've got that just sitting in there superficially. I probably will not glue it, but we'll see. I may do that between now and the time that I made in it, but I generally prefer not to include or use things that stick up or can get caught on things. Personal preference here. Um, and these tanks right there, to fit those in, you just slide them into the slots in the bottom of the wing, and then, or before you do that actually, you pull back the paper because it's got double-sided tape and you just slide those up in there and they fit in nicely, nice and secure. And if you want to belly land it, you can take this main landing gear off and these will act as skids, which is really cool. As long as the grass is short enough, um, you can definitely take advantage of that, which I think is great. The price, the value of this proposition right here in front of you, amazing. Check the link in the description for the current price. It is a great value, guys. I am really surprised at how much they packed into this plane. 3S brushless power, a gyro, looks amazing, and the price is, is remarkable. And I've been trying, I've been trying to figure out, okay, what can I do for a con? Because I usually try and get at least one, at least one. And I really don't see anything right now that stands out. So check the description. Over time, I update the pros and cons. And I always add a con in there at some point for pretty much every single plane I've ever reviewed. Uh, unboxing, it's kind of hard to determine every single pro that you may encounter. Of course, when you fly it, you'll add pros, you'll add cons, things just change. So as of right now, I don't have any cons. So with all that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out.